Good afternoon and welcome to Take Your Life Back Today show with Ralph Friedrichs. Today we're going to talk about the five damaging myths about addictions. These are myths, again, uh, I might not agree with some of this stuff. I might uh, feel that maybe um, some of this stuff uh, is possibly you know, more than just a myth, but it is my job to bring you what I read and uh, certainly some of this uh, was uh, read. Uh, by me online on the CDC website. So we are going to talk today about the five damaging myths about addiction. But uh, at first, as always, shout out to Dr. Luis Gonzalez from startingpointmn.com where he can help you from your addiction to your recovery, hand by hand, 24 hours at a time, day by day. Never talking about the past because it is not good to talk about the past when people are trying to recover. You don't want to give them a stressor or a trigger. Let Dr. Lewis Gonzalez from startingpointmn.com help you. Call him at 844-414-8444. Also, Dr. Lewis Gonzalez can turn you into an addiction recovery coach. If you have passion, personality, and professionalism, and you have an addiction background, whether it's debt battling with your own or possibly helping others, call him at 844-414-8444 and let him help you become an addiction recovery coach. He has an excellent educational program that could be done directly straight from your home to his office. Uh, so give him a call at 844-414-8444 and let him know that you heard about him from me, Ralph Friedrichs, from the Take Your, Back, uh, Take Your Life Back Today show.com. Next is GlobalEyeglasses.com where they are focused on saving you money they have glasses that start at $6 and go up to $69. Now listen to this very carefully because hundreds of you folks have contacted me already by seeing these uh, plugs on my show. The $6 all the way to $69 frames include the following. A cloth, a case, single vision plastic, non-coated, clear, regular prescription lenses. All that for as low as $6, as high as $69. You might ask, well, Ralph, I need progressives. I need line bifocals. I need photochromatics or transitions. I'd like to have my lenses thinner. I'd like to go golfing or, or boating. I need polarization lenses. They have all that available at globaleyeglasses.com where they are focused on saving you money. Give me a shout out at 631-599-0218 and I can personally help you like I've done for so many people right now that have seen this commercial. where well, they contacted me via email or via texting or telephone and I help place their orders because I could give you 30 years of optometry background to help you place that order. You can email me at Ralph, that's R-A-L-F, at GlobalEyeglasses.com or you can text me at 631-599-0218 or you can call me at 844-405-HELP. That's GlobalEyeglasses.com but they are focused on saving you money. Go to my website which is www.TakeYourLifeBackTodayShow.com where you will be able to see all the latest episodes. You'll get to read my biography. All that good stuff is on TakeYourLifeBackTodayShow.com. You can also visit me at my other website, which is purely informational. It is www.clearviews.info. That's www.clearviews.info, where you can get the information that you so desperately might need for your addiction and your recovery. You can also, if you want some coaching done by me, Go to my other website, www.clearreform.com. That's www.clearreform.com, where I can help you with your addiction, just like Dr. Luis Gonzalez can. We will never, ever talk about yesterday. We move from today and forward, and we will walk with you 24 hours at a time. So get in touch with me at 844-405-HELP. And if you don't want to speak, you want to just start with texting, you can text me at 631-599-0218. But reach out so we can help you. Five damaging myths about addiction. Do drugs really fry your brain? Once an addict, always an addict? Is there an addiction gene? These are some of the questions that might be asked by people such as yourself, and I'm here to hopefully uh, settle the myth uh, according to the CDC. Whether I believe it or not is a whole different story. This is according to the CDC. Myth number one, there is an addiction gene. Is that a myth? Well, here it is. There is no single gene or set of genes that determines whether or not a person will become an addict. Even if parents are addicts does not mean you will become one too. According to the CDC, there's not one gene 
or a few genes that will determine whether you'll both be an addict. And even if your parents were addicts, according to the CDC, they are saying that it will not necessarily automatically make you an addict. Myth number two, marijuana is a gateway drug. Myth or not? Here, the addiction rate of marijuana is lower than alcohol and there is little scientific evidence that acts as a trigger for harder drugs. So many people think that if you start with marijuana, you are automatically going to skyrocket it to a higher uh, drug, a more damaging drug. But the fact is, is, according to the CDC, is that marijuana has a lower rate than alcohol for addiction. So that is myth number two. Myth number three, addiction is for life myth or not. This is simply untrue and it places a huge emotional psychological burden on a recovered addicts. Every person is different. Addiction is a spectrum disorder like depression. Not everybody automatically is depressed. Not everybody automatically is a uh, addict for life. It just puts so much pressure on a person that's going through recovery because if you, like myself, are going through recovery and somebody says, well, you are an addict for life, what goal do you have? What is the light at the end of the tunnel? If you automatically think that no matter what you do for your recovery, no matter how you fight uh, alcoholism or drug addiction, that at the end of the day, you're still an addict. So uh, it it certainly is untrue that addiction is for life. Myth, myth number four, drugs fry your brain. Everybody remembers the commercial. Remember 1987, the commercial that used an egg frying to show your brain on drugs. While drugs can be bad for you, uh, for you and your brain, um, it, it, it's a gross oversimplification to say that drugs used generally causes permanent severe brain damage. Of course, like anything, it can, but it's not necessarily a, uh, a guarantee according to the CDC. So the commercial from 1987, you remember that fried egg just frying away and the key words were, this is your brain on drugs. According to the CDC, it's a gross oversimplification to say that drugs usually cause uh, permanent and severe brain damage. Myth number five is have to hit rock bottom. Now, I am one that certainly uh, won't agree with the CDC on this because I truly, truly believe that every person has to hit rock bottom before uh, they move forward in their recovery. Here is why this is dangerous. If we wait until a person bottoms out, it um, it could be too late to help them. Every person has a different bottom. For some, it could be getting arrested or being uh, homeless. For others, it could be as simply as losing a loved one in a relationship. Uh, what the CDC basically is saying here um, is, is that maybe, yes, everybody does have to hit rock bottom, but everybody's rock bottom could be at different levels. For some, it is uh, finally getting arrested, going to jail for a DWI, becoming homeless because you used all the money, uh, it could be as simple as, uh, you know, your wife or your husband or your uh, uh, loved ones are leaving you. Uh, so that could be what you determine as rock bottom. What I, myself, as Ralph Friedrichs, determine rock bottom is that when we finally hit a low in our life that says, I cannot live this way anymore, I can't do this anymore, and the only way is to move up. That is my terminology of rock bottom. The CDC certainly does not... Uh, Concur with that, uh, what they're saying, um, uh, this is dangerous because uh, if we wait for a, bottom, uh, for a person to bottom out, it could be too, too late to help them. Um, I think, uh, of course, the only way a person cannot be helped if they bottom out, and that is overdose or uh, some sort of death due to their alcoholism or drug addiction. Anything beyond that, there's always help. That is my, my thinking on this. So, you know, folks, you really have to, to, to believe that a sober today, I guarantee you, will make you a better tomorrow. And if you want those big changes to happen in life, you have to start with small steps. You really have to start with small steps. And if you start thinking positive and you start acting positive, positive things will happen around you. Nothing but positive things will happen in your life. So, remember that the five damaging myths about addiction 
are one more time as follows. Do drugs really fry your brain? Some of the questions might be asked. Once an addict, always an addict. Is that another question that once needs to be answered? Is there an addiction gene? Myth number one was, is there an addiction gene? There is no uh, single gene or a set of genes that determines whether or not a person will become an addict. Even if the parents were addicts does not mean you automatically will become addict, uh, addicted. Myth number two would be marijuana is a gateway drug. Remember that when you start with marijuana, it not automatically says that you're going to do harder drugs. And for the people uh, that uh, use it for medical purposes, of course, that is allowable. Uh, but I will tell you this, that um, marijuana has a less addictive rate than alcoholism or alcohol itself. Myth number two, three, addiction is for life. This is simply untrue and it places a huge emotional psychological burden on, a re on the recovered addicts. Every person is different. Addiction is spectrum disorder like uh, depression can uh, do. Everybody is an individual case. Everybody is an individual scenario. Myth number four, drugs fry your brain. Remember the 1987 commercial that used an egg frying to show your brain on drugs. While uh, drugs can be bad for your brain, this is a gross sim oversimplification to say that drugs usually cause permanent and severe brain damage. I personally feel that it can't be good. They're saying it's not necessarily a true fact. Myth number five is you have to hit rock bottom. What the CDC is saying that every rock bottom has a different level. For some it could be a little worse than others. For some it could be being arrested or being homeless. For others it could be losing a uh, relationship. I am telling you right now my personal belief is the only rock bottom, the true rock bottom, is when you hit to the lowest point in your life where you know that the alternative to moving forward and for seeking recovery is death. That is your rock bottom. That truly is your rock bottom. I don't believe there's a level, uh, the only alternative to rock bottom other than addiction is death. So that's my, my thinking on that. So uh, myth number one, is there an addiction gene? No. Myth number two, marijuana is a gateway drug? No. Myth number three, three addiction is for life? No. Myth number four, drugs fry your brain? Not necessarily, it doesn't help your brain. Myth number five, you have to hit rock bottom? I say yes. This is all according to the CDC. I hope to God that these five myths answer some of your questions. I know certainly when I did the research for this, it helped me understand. And folks, no matter what the situation is, no matter which what myth you want to believe or not, drugs and alcohol will kill you when and if it's abused. Alcohol and a social gathering is okay, one to two drinks. Drugs, for medical purposes, prescribed by a medical doctor, is okay. Anything outside that realm is no good. If you're abusing drugs and alcohol, and you're watching me right now, no matter where you are, you might be sitting in your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom, you might be sitting in a homeless shelter, you might be sitting in jail, you might be sitting in a nursing home, no matter where you're watching me, you know you have an alcohol and drug problem. Isn't it time for change? Why wait until something so drastic like an arrest happens? So drastic as becoming homeless happens? So drastic as losing relationships? Why wait until that? If you know you have a problem, today is the day for, for recovery. Today is the day. You need to do two things. The first thing is, is you have to first stop denying you have a problem. You have to admit you have a problem. If you are drinking more than two drinks a day, and if you're doing drugs each and every day, you have a problem. If you feel that you need to smoke a joint every single day, you have a problem. It's time for change. Admit you have a problem, and then you need to look for something that I like to choose to call hope. What is there to hope for? You need somebody to guide you and, and give you reason to hope, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Let Him give you that hope. Compare your body as a ship and your mind as the captain. So you're in charge of your ship. Would you ever go into rough seas without navigation? Well, if your life has crumbled around you, you are out of navigation. You are out of control. Your ship is going in circles in the ocean. 
This is when you need to reach to your higher power, which I choose to call my God. Choose God to let Him become your navigation. Let God navigate your ship, which is your body and your mind, which is the captain. And you will go into any rough sea and every, any rough ocean and smooth sailing ahead. Yes, you'll hit those big waves. Yes, you'll still run into problems in life. But that's what you and God come hand in hand because your power of prayer and God's power of answering will give you a life of stability will give you a life of changes, physical changes, mental changes, spiritual changes, financial changes. That all comes with the power of prayer. So start today by reaching to God and changing your life. Change your way of drinking and doing drugs. Once you have done that, it's time to come up with an action plan. What are we going to do for a recovery? What social network do we need to do? First thing is, is you need to separate yourself from the people that are bringing you into the alcoholic uh, and, and drug addiction states. If these friends are just there to drink with you or do drugs, you need to find a new social network, a new social gathering. When you go to AA, when you check into a rehab or a treatment center, when you go to church, there are people there that are going through what you're going through. And it is there where you should start looking for new friends. It is there where you should start building up your social network. Reach out to your AAs. Reach out to your rehab centers. Reach out to me, 631-599-0218, 844-405-HELP. But reach out to someone. Have someone work with you. Have someone... Be friends with you that is going through what you're going through. Someone like me that will help take your life back like I took my life back. My life is far from being perfect. But each and every day, the changes that I seek in life are being accomplished with the small steps. Babies are born. They crawl. Then they learn to, 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 uh, to walk. Then they learn to run in life. Well, you are a baby and like an infant in sobriety. You need to first crawl, then walk, and then run. All changes, all big changes in life happen with very small steps. Don't expect by watching this video for you to say, okay, I quit drinking, I quit drugs, and it for, for everything just to be peachy creamy, because it won't. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of work, and a lot of dedication on your end to succeed in your sobriety. It takes things like a program. It takes things as social, uh, new social friends and, or a new social network. Your social life needs to have a new network. It takes dedication daily, not just going to AA for an hour, hour and a half a day. You need to live, breathe sobriety. My day starts at 5, 6 sometimes and goes until 9, 10 at night. And during that, day, uh, during that day, I include at least 8 to 10 hours of my personal sobriety education. It's starting off getting information from my shows, it's doing my shows, it's doing the editing, publishing of my shows, and it's continuously going for thoughts of the next show. It's not just sitting in a classroom atmosphere like AA and saying, this is what I did yesterday. Uh, hi, my name is Ralph. Uh, I'm an alcoholic. No, you need to pull up your sleeves and live sobriety. Live, breathe sobriety. Doesn't uh, uh, just survive on an hour and a half a day. You need to think it constantly. A great athlete or a great actor thinks about their job constantly. A great athlete becomes better by doing over and over again. A great actor in life becomes better at remembering their lines by constantly practicing their lines. A, a person in sobriety becomes stronger in sobriety by constantly thinking about their addiction. And what better way to proceed into your sobriety than to start thinking of a passion. You need to substitute your drug addiction, your alcohol addiction with something brand new. Come up with a passion. My passion is just to help others. It's always been my passion since 1981, but the alcohol has clouded my vision 
but now for almost two years now my vision has been crystal clear and my passion has moved forward and I've created not only my own show I've created three websites all related to sobriety and addiction let a passion come into your life build your self-esteem by helping other people as simple as opening the door at a supermarket to as much as possibly helping an elderly with their yard or going into a nursing home and, and talking to people or going into a hospital or a jail and talking to these people about your addiction you should never be ashamed to admit you have an alcohol or a drug problem if you're in recovery never be ashamed of that people will respect you by coming and telling them yes this is what I was, and this is what I am today, and this is where I'm going tomorrow. People will respect you for that. Folks, you need to start thinking about tomorrow. Don't, for one minute, sit there wherever you're watching me and think, yes, Ralph, I know I need to change, but I'll wait until tomorrow. Because I'm telling you right now, not everyone is guaranteed a tomorrow. There are some people, as you and I right now, are watching each other that are breathing for their last time, closing their eyes for their last time, did those people have a chance to change their life? Remember, people will remember you by your ending of life. In other words, your last year or two will be what people will remember you most by. Do you want to overdose and have people say it was the alcohol or the drugs that did this to me or did this to him? Or do you want people, when your time comes, say, he changed towards the end of his life. He made better for himself. Well, that's why tomorrow's not guaranteed because you might not live here. And if you, God forbid, should uh, die in your sleep as an alcoholic, as addicted to drugs, this is what people will remember you by. Don't think for one minute that you have people fooled if you don't think that they know that you are addicted to drugs and alcohol because they know it. They absolutely know it. What they're not doing is hopping on you because they don't want to give you another reason to, to, to pop another beer or smoke another joint. Folks, let today be that day. Don't wait for tomorrow. Look, you can breathe and you can blink your eyes. There are people that cannot do that anymore. Make the changes while the changes can be made. Tonight when you go to bed, when you take your shoes, slippers, or sneakers off and you put them by the edge of your bed, I beg of you to push them under your bed. And the reason I'm asking you to do that is because I want you tomorrow morning when you wake up to pull those sneaker shoes or sneakers from underneath your bed and while you're on your knees to thank the Lord Jesus Christ that He has allowed you another day on this beautiful earth. Thank Him for that. And let today be the first day of your new life. Folks, remember a sober today, I guarantee you, makes for a better tomorrow and if you want to make some changes remember big changes all start with small steps think positive act positive and positive things will happen in your life it's that simple and teach your children and yourself to just say no to drugs and alcohol they're not good for you folks I hope to God you enjoyed this segment I hope to God you have a great day but more importantly, folks, I hope to God you have a sober day. And call me at 844-405-HELP and let me help take your life back. May God bless you.